CHS. It's Wednesday, September 23rd, 2015. I'm Ashley. And I'm CJ. And these are your afternoon announcements. Volleyball team captain meeting. There is a mandatory meeting this Friday, September 25th, in room 235, either before or after school. It is expected that one member of each team be at the meeting to pick up their t-shirts and run through the information for the tournament. CHS class ring order date. The official Clarkson class ring order date is September 24th during open house. Class ring packets can be found in the principal's office. Cap and gown order packets. Seniors, if you do not receive a cap and gown order packet, stop by the principal's office to pick one up. Balfour will be here on September 24th during open house to accept orders from parents. They will also be here on September 29th for male students to submit their orders and on September 30th for female students to submit their orders. They will be located in the PAC hallway during lunches. Girls interested in playing basketball. There will be an open gym this Thursday from 3 to 5 p.m. Class of 2018 class shirts are in. Attention sophomores who ordered a class of 2018 shirt. Your shirts are in. Pickup will be before and after school in room 220, from 7 to 7.20 before school and 2.25 to 2.50 after school. See Mrs. Grosso or Mrs. O'Rourke with any questions. Mime and Children's Theater. Auditions will be held today and Thursday of this week after school at 2.40 in Tice's room B205 in the choir room. Any questions, please contact Anna Agney or Andrew Biggs. Sophomore Executive Board. Attention all sophomores interested in being on the Class of 2018's Executive Board. Applications are due today. The due date has been extended, so please get your applications in as soon as possible. Applications can be picked up and dropped off in Mrs. Grosso's room, A220. Let's check in with Jake for news on homecoming. Homecoming ticket sales. Homecoming tickets are on sale for $20. Get them before school or after school and, all at, and at all lunches. Homecoming dresses. Are you in need of a homecoming dress? If so, please stop, Mrs. Please stop by Mrs. Downley's room, A103. A view of large selection of gently used homecoming dresses. If you would like to donate a gently used homecoming dress or prom dress, please stop by and drop off the garments after or before school at Mrs. Downley's room, available at October 1st. Let's check back with Ashley for some more information. College visits. Davenport University will be here Thursday, September 24th, 2015, during third hour. Sign up in the counseling office. Sophomore parking passes. Sophomores who have a driver's license can now purchase a parking pass in the attendance office. Students must bring a valid parking application, a valid Michigan registration for the vehicle they will be registering, a valid driver's license, and $50 cash or check. Junior Executive Board. Attention all juniors. If you are interested in applying for the Junior Executive Board, please pick up an application packet from Ms. Brock in room 329, the attendance office or the principal's office. Applications are due today. Don't forget to follow our Twitter account at GoodDayCHS. You won't want to miss it. That's all for us, CHS. Have a great day. I've always been told I'm too small. I'm not big enough. I'm not fast enough. I don't have what it takes to be the best and stay there sweating is necessary I prepare so no one can take what is mine no one can replace my mind my heart I'm older of course I'm older that's the beauty of it two years plus different level of wisdom different level of understanding different level of punishment. I want to live long after my records have fallen, long after my rings are tarnished. And whatever you got to do to make sure you chase your legacy every second of your life, will you be remembered? How will you be remembered? Why wouldn't you fight for the greatest achievement ever? Leave your mark. From the dawn of time, it has been clear that whip. From the dawn of time, it has been clear that women are designed for one thing: the pure and unadulterated sport, nay, art form of flag football. Streamlined forces of power. Women have been dominating the football field for centuries, John. The history of the sport goes all the way back to medieval times. Leonardo da Vinci himself was able to capture the essence of the sport in his famous portrait of the Mona Lisa. 
Some other notable former players that really changed the sport include Condoleezza Rice. She was one of the best wide receivers the league ever saw. Her experience on the football field led to her prowess as a politician. Then there was Princess Diana. She was the definition of a queenly quarterback. That arm ruled England and dominated the football field. I mean, the list can go on and on, but the women who were really started it all were some of the early suffragettes. Along with demanding voting rights, they founded the National Powder Puff League. The suffragettes are powder puff legends and really are prime examples of the pure force and strength of this league and the prominence of the powder puff throughout the United States. It has proliferated every part of our culture and we are a prouder nation for it. All of this brings us to the Clarkson program, one of the most elite programs in the history of high schools. They have not only made the most contributions to the National Powder Puff League, but they are the most celebrated powder puff team in years. They are producing players like Amy, Armbreaker Bones, and kicking Kimmy Keller. This game is what we've all been waiting for. The most anticipated night in the calendar year. It's the Powder Puff game, juniors versus seniors at Clarkston High School. This really gives us a chance to see all that this program has to offer. What an honor it is to witness such a spectacle of human ability. And it's all happening Monday, September 28th at 7 p.m. Wow, wow. Come get you some. Bring it. Come get you some. Uh, mo mostly, just bring it. <laughs> Come get you some. Bring it.